welcome to pvc second year students in the last period we have studied about the demand and the law of demand the shifting demand and derivation of demand and so many uh, syllabus we have completed but in the last uh, syllabus of the uh, demand the theory of consumer behavior it is the second chapter of the microeconomics and uh, today let us study the market demand and uh, what do you mean market demand first of all we have to understand it, understand the meaning of market demand in the market where there are number of uh, consumers are there we have to find out the uh, market demand and we have to uh, find out the market how to find out the market demand we have to find out market demand by adding up all the uh, consumers demands we can find out the market demand by adding all the individual demands and have then we will find out the market demand the first of all you have to uh, understand the meaning of what do you mean by market demand the market demand for a good at a particular price is the total demand of all the consumers taken together once again the market demand the market demand for a good at a particular price is the total demand of all the consumers taken together it is called as the market demand if there are suppose there are only two consumers are in the market huh? suppose there are two consumers in the market there are two consumers in the market and the demand curve of the two individuals are two demand curve of the individuals this is the two individual demand curve this is the market demand curve shown on the graph graphically suppose there are two individuals and the demand curve of there suppose there are two consumers a and b or two consumers in the market for good suppose at a p suppose at a price p1 dash p1 dash p1 dash the demand of the consumer e1 is q1 the demand of the consumer 1 is q1 demand of the consumer 1 is q1 in market demand suppose at price p1 dash the consumer 1 is q1 and consumer 2 is 2 2 consumer 1 is 2 1 and consumer 2 is 2 2 in the market demand also shows suppose at the price p1 dash consumer p1 plus 2 2 it is consumer 1 is p1 and consumer 2 is 2 2 and the market demand curve is u1 plus 2 2 u1 plus q2 it is the market demand and similarly at the p dash suppose similarly at the p dash the consumers one is q1 consumers one is q1 and consumer two is q2 the market demand is p dash is p dash is q1 plus q2 it is the market demand it is the totally market demand and we have shown in the market demand at p1 dash the q1 1 and the consumer 1 is q1 and consumer 2 is q2 the market demand of the curve is q1 plus q2 it is the market demand and suppose at the price of p dash the consumer 1 is q1 and consumer 2 is q2 the market demand curve is q1 plus q2 it is in the market demand it is slopes downwards it is slopes downwards from left to right it is the market demand suppose i can give you an, an another example for how to find out the market demand there are d1 and d2 d1 means demand for consumer 1 and demand for consumer 2 and here is the market demand for consumers the demand for 1 demand for one consumer is quantity demanded is 
quantity demand ID is 10 and the demand for the current demand to is 20 20 plus 10 is equal to and it is the market demand and uh, the demand for consumer 1 is 20 and the uh, demand for uh, consumer 2 is uh, 30 but 30 plus 20 is equal to 50 50 is the market demand 50 is the market demand and uh, lastly D1 means demand for consumer 1 is 30 quantity demanded and uh, D2 means uh, D2 it is the demand for consumer 2 is quantity demanded is 40 total the market demand is 40 plus 30 is equal to 70 this is the market demand it is very easily find out the market demand and uh, once uh, we have to uh, do an adding of an linear demand curve by the help of a uh, formula so uh, for example if there are two consumers if there are two consumers and their uh, demand curve is demand curve is divided as the consumer 1 d1 is demand for consumer 1 is d1 divided by p is equal to 10 p demand for consumer 2 into the p p is equal to 50 p and the market demand for dp d is into the case p is equal to 25 to p how we can find h by adding of 2 individual demand curve demand for 1 consumer is 10 p and demand for 2 consumer is 50 p 10 plus 50 is equal to 25 to p means 2 individuals it is the uh, market demand function it is the market demand function Suppose the price of consumer 1 is less than or equal to 1, the demand for consumer is 10p. Demand for consumer is 10p. Suppose the price of consumer 1 is greater than 10. The demand for consumer 1 is 0. The demand for consumer is 0. Then the price is greater than 10. The demand for consumer 1 is 0. If the demand for consumer 1 is 10 or less than 10, the demand for consumer is 10p. And second demand for consumer 2 is the price is less than or equal to price the demand for consumer 2 is 50 p if the price is greater than 50 the price is greater than 50 the demand for consumer 2 is 0 or the demand for 2 the consumer is price is greater than 50 the demand of the consumer 1 is 0 and uh, if the demand for the consumer is less than or equal to price means 50 the demand for consumer 2 is 15 p and the market demand curve is d into p is equal to 25 okay, this is the market demand curve. The question is explain the market demand curve with a diagram. Explain the market demand curves with a diagram. We have to explain and do the meaning of market demand and do the two diagrams and do the formula and do the how to find out the market demand according to their formula. This is the market demand. You keep remember, if you are interested to watch my video, subscribe without forgetting this market. The last year, the answer the questions 
change in quality and CRT and the gold. We have to, this is the most important. This, this syllabus must and should have to study because of this is the uh, uh, most important in the chapter because of the last year it has changed. It is uh, added in the syllabus for you. The last syllabus changed by them and it is a new syllabus for you. You have to study well, you prepare to the exam and explain it according to this market demand. You have to necessarily study. You don't forget it, you practice again and again. It will come in the examinations. Don't forget. I tell you, this is most important. Thank you.